Good morning again, guys. Bonus video for another Sunday morning. So I want to talk about something that is being misreported uh, in the news a little bit. And some it's always interesting when part of the story gets put out. And a lot of times it's to inflame other people or whatever it is. So I want to kind of give you the whole the whole story on this. And this is on the 2022 NDAA, the National Defense Authorization Act, okay, that passed through the House the other day, including 135 Republicans, all right? And it included a red flag gun law or red flag gun confiscation in this bill, okay? Now, it hasn't gone to the Senate yet, but chances are, I don't know. In a 50-50 Senate, you don't know how it's gonna how it's gonna swing. All right, but we'll see what happens. Because again, this is in the NDAA, and there's all sorts of other stuff in there. And you know, they're trying to defund the Space Force and you know, God knows what. So, you know, the the conservative side, the Republican side of the aisle is going, okay, military spending. The Democrat side of the aisle is going, what can we take away? So, you know, what, what rights can we take away? Now, Travis over at the home, uh, Prepared Homestead did, a, did an excellent video on this, okay? He actually reported the whole story. And this is why I think that you need to listen to the Prepper channels rather than the news channels, because the news channels only tell you part of the story, you know, what fits their narrative. The key to this, and like the media is reporting all over the place, oh, they're passing red flag laws. They're going to be able to confiscate guns from everybody, yada, 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 yada. No, that is not what is in this bill, okay? The only people that are affected by this, and this is still a big problem, but the only people that are affected by this are people beholden to the UCMJ, the uh United States Code of Military Justice, okay? So anybody who's on active duty, a reservist, a National Guardsman, whatever it would be. Now, where I get completely confused about this is you're telling the people in the military that if they're platoon leader, they're squad leader, they're company commander, the PFC who stands next to him in formation says, oh, I, I think, you know, Private Smith is a danger and they can confiscate his personal firearms. Now, how does that work? Because, gee, Private Smith is not allowed to, wear, uh, to own an AR-15, but he's perfectly capable to be handed an M16 or an M4 or something like this uh, in use in his military duties. Explain that one to me. You know, as long as he, as long as he's wearing his uniform, he's fine to carry a weapon. But if he's in a pair of blue jeans and an orange vest, he's not. You know, the guy can go out and hunt terrorists, but he can't go out and hunt a deer. Explain that one to me. Doesn't you know? And again, it's the the logic that is put in there. Okay, but this is what this says. And I'll link this article to you. This comes out of American Military News. Okay, uh, a military court protective order issued on an ex parte basis shall restrain re, blah, shall restrain a person from possessing, receiving, or otherwise accessing a firearm and a military court protective order issued after the person to be subject to the order has received notice and opportunity to be heard on the order, shall restrain such person from possessing, receiving, or otherwise accessing a firearm in accordance with Section 922 of Title 18. Okay, now, will I agree that, yeah, there are probably people in the military that should not have access to firearms. And I go back to the Fort Hood shooting of, you know, what, six or seven years ago or whatever it would be. Absolutely, okay? You know, and we don't even know what happened with all the other crap that happened at Fort Hood last year with all these 
uh, soldiers, what was it, seven or something like that, were killed, you know, found around uh, the base. You know, so are there people in the military that should not have access to firearms? Absolutely. Just like there are people in the United States that should not have access to firearms. Okay. I, I don't feel that, you know, the guy who just spent 30 years in prison for a for first degree murder should be able to get out of out of prison and be able to go out and buy weaponry. Okay. Yeah. But I absolutely disagree when a neighbor can come up and go, I don't like pinball. Maybe he he maybe he's you know, he has different views than I do. Maybe he's crazy. Oh, okay. Well, I guess he can't have weaponry. Uh uh, no, sorry. This is not guilty until proven innocent. You know, if I ever did something that was against the law, sure, you have a shot. Okay. But some jack wagon, you know, across the street or whatever it is who has a problem. Tough shit. Find some evidence first that there was a crime committed. But, you know, because I hurt your poor little feelings. It, that, that, sorry, that doesn't mean jack squat to me. All right. Now, right now, this, like I said, uh, is in the NDAA. So this is only going to be applicable to military personnel. And again, like I said, military personnel include your reservists, your National Guardsmen, whatever. It does not include veterans, okay? Veterans are no longer subject to the UCMJ. So, you know, where a lot of these places are reporting that, oh, any, any veteran can have... No, sorry, that's not true. Uh, but then again, that's your typical CNN talking heads who, you know, have never spent a second in service to anybody but themselves. And so they have no clue. <laughs> The scary part is uh, that, you know, if the Democrats can get this into the military code, then it becomes a precedent for getting it into federal law for all the citizenry, you know. And the last thing we want to see is all of a sudden we turn into any of these liberal nanny states where we have no right to defend ourselves. You know, and again, and Travis mentioned this too, you know, Australia, what's, what's going on? Great Britain, what's going on? The people have no, the, the people are out, outgunned, right? The police, the military, whatever can, you know, shoot, if you will. And what are they going to do? Throw rocks back. Okay. This goes right back to Nazi Germany. Right, the Nazis. We've all seen videos of it. We've seen movies of it. Put a pistol up to somebody's head and just pull pull the trigger. Okay. The Jews had no way to resist. I mean, they just didn't. That's the same thing here. That's how totalitarianism starts. Same thing happened in the Soviet Union. You know, the people got disarmed. And then the Bolsheviks came, ran through, and just said, oh, you're persona non grata, bang. All right, we can't let that happen. And looking at the 135 Republicans who signed on to this, including my representative, who still haven't made the decision, should I run, would be who I'd be primarying, uh, signed on to this. All right. Now, that pisses me off because I totally understand the loony liberals in Chicago or New York or Connecticut or something like this or California signing on to this. But Republicans, conservatives, who are supposed to be conservatives, let's leave it this way, especially out of the southern states or the mountain states, okay, where guns are pretty much a way of life signing on to this, that's a big problem. And like I said in the title, from my cold, dead hands, that's exactly what you guys need to believe too. Don't listen to the bullshit that's coming out of the mainstream media. Okay, Right now, as of September 26, 2020, 2021, this does not affect the U.S. citizenry. But it is a shot across the bow that we need to watch out for 
uh, because give them an inch, they're going to take a mile and we know what's coming. So this is time where you start raising hell with, especially if your uh, representative signed up, sign on for this thing, you know, no, ain't happening, you know, sorry. You don't, you don't get to keep your protective detail that's armed and everything like that. So you're all fine on your, uh, you know, silk pillows and everything like that. Well, the peasants have to go and just bow to your whim, whims. Uh-uh. That ain't how this com country work, how this country works. This is a 100% violation of the U.S. Constitution. Ain't happening. I'll stand up for it. That's for sure. Uh, video on the contest winners coming up shortly. See you all in a bit. Pimple out.